Jennifer Rollins. I work at Breakthrough Physical Therapy. I'm a physical therapist here, and I specialize in women's health. This message is for all the new moms out there who might be struggling with a couple of issues with breastfeeding. Today we're specifically going to talk about clogged milk ducts, which is a very common problem, especially when we have our newborn baby. It's very painful, it's frustrating, you're trying to feed baby, and it's just not working. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about what can cause the, milk, the clogged ducts, some things that you can do to reduce clogged ducts, and also discuss what we do from a physical therapy standpoint in order to make sure that those ducts get nice and cleared. First of all, clogged ducts can start because milk is very, very fatty. All right? If there's any kind of excess inflammation happening in the breast from any kind of irritation, that, or that duct can get just a little bit narrower, and then the fat starts to build up within the duct from the milk, and then we get a clog. Often people discover that uh, one thing that helps reduce that clog on their own is to take a nice hot shower and put a nice hot pack on there and then um, start doing some manual therapy techniques on yourself where you actually get in with your fingertips and try and push the clog out. That can be very, very painful. Often it's difficult for somebody who, is, who has these clogged ducts to do that kind of work on their own because of how painful it is. A couple of things that we can do to reduce clogged ducts as well. Number one, sleep on your back. All right. Uh, one thing that I've discovered with a lot of my patients is if they chronically sleep on one side, gravity tends to pull all that milk fat in one direction and then you start to get clogs on that one side. Um, so people tend to find that sleeping on your back helps a lot. Number two, a lot of lactation specialists will recommend sunflower lecithin um, supplements, which you can get like online or at Sprouts or any place like that, that tends to help clear up the clog as well. Um, one proactive piece of information is when you are breastfeeding with baby, make sure that baby's chin is pointed in the direction of the clog, okay? So if you have a clog that's way up here, then you want baby's chin to be right around there to make sure that that clog is draining appropriately, okay? Hope that makes sense. In terms of like other things that we can do at home, Really, it takes some time. It's really frustrating. It can be really excruciating. Talk to your lactation specialist, and then often they will refer you to physical therapy, and that's where we come in. So what's the difference between the stuff you do at home and the stuff that we do in the PT setting? I will explain. First, we'll start off every session with you with a nice hot pack over the breast that's got the clogs in it, okay? I will ask you exactly where those clogs are, you can show me, um, and then that gives us a really good idea where treatment will be. The next part of treatment includes ultrasound, okay? So we have our ultrasound machine here, here's our ultrasound head. Now why does ultrasound tend to work uh, instead of just using some of the other regular techniques? The thing is that there's a high frequency uh, sound pulse wave that comes out of here that helps break up those fatty deposits better than almost anything else that we have. In fact, this is one of the few things that ultrasound therapy is really, really proven via research to assist a lot. So we do ultrasound for about eight minutes. <clears throat> then after that, we go in and we do the manual therapy on the breast. Again, this can be very, very painful. What I do is I find that lump grab it with my fingers like so, usually I'll press down as hard as I can, that helps break it up a bit, almost like melting butter, okay? And then we start sweeping towards the areola. That allows the duct to really get into the direction that it needs to, to release that milk. If we have a really, really great session, everything's going well, often you'll have milk production immediately as soon as we're done. Uh, one thing that I encourage all of my patients to do, because this is just part of the therapeutic treatment, is when you come in, make sure that you have either your baby with you or your breast pump with you, because immediately after treatment, we will set you up in a nice cozy room so that you can either nurse or breastfeed or, or, or pump. Because what that does is it allows that clog not to come back, it keeps that duct nice and open. Okay? Sometimes patients will have to come back a couple of times, um, typical treatment goes two days in a row of uh, physical therapy treatment, then we have a week break, and then we'll do another two days in a row until that clog is reduced. Often I do not see patients more than one session. Um, that being said, occasionally we do have to go longer than that, but 
we often will get that clog undone. Another method that I have recently started trying, which there isn't a ton of research on this, but I've had a lot of success with it, um, is what's called myofascial decompression. Now you've probably seen like in the Olympics this past year, all of the athletes going around with those big dark circles all over their bodies. This is a similar method, but definitely less painful. What I do is I use one of these cups, just like so. It has a little valve in the top. I attach it to my little decompressor. And I'll put it on the skin. I'll kind of demo right here. And we only do a little bit of a pull, not a ton. And then I do a sweeping motion towards the areola. Generally, this is much less painful. The rationale behind attempting to use this is that the tissue that's on top of that duct, we can get to lift a little bit with that negative pressure. That can help release the duct. We can get good milk flow. And then that's that. I hope this session has been very informative for all of you and that you learned a ton. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call. And if you're experiencing this awful, awful thing of clogged milk ducts, please come in and see us. Most of our therapists are trained to be able to treat this particular condition, and we tend to have excellent results. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.